The city of Naperville recently held their first of four workshops to review the city's budget and explore solutions to solve their remaining debt. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick reports. Spending cuts are looming in Naperville as the city prepares the budget for next year. City staff has been faced with the challenge to fill the current budget deficit of $1.8 million within their general fund. Their plan requires departmental reductions throughout the city. They really uh, tried to identify the areas where they thought they could um, reduce spending or um, provide alternatives to services that they currently were doing or look for ways that they could reduce costs overall. Some of the cuts revolve around salaries. The police department plans to reduce their budget by $200,000 by limiting overtime expenses. The city council and mayor's budget will also make cuts to the tune of $130,000 as they've decreased insurance costs due to officials not electing coverage and lowered their dues. And additional savings would come from a reduction in supply costs based on historical spending. But the proposal to save around $800,000 over the next year by leasing a fire truck and public works vehicle didn't go over well with the council. I don't see where the savings occurs over time. Um, you know, however many vehicles we end up buying, we're going to have that many lease payments um, accumulated that need to be paid. And, and I agree, it, it, it is taking on additional debt. But the director of finance still thinks it's a viable option based on the incentives that come with leasing the city's vehicles. Instead of outright buying it, be able basically to rent the, the um, piece of equipment over a period of time, that then that rental option program would also provide the maintenance you know, on that vehicle, which currently we incur those expenses in-house. So um, you know, to pilot it, see if it really does save money, see if there is, if there is opportunity to um, provide a better service. City Council also requested that staff look for more cuts, as they anticipate lower projected revenues in the telecommunications and gas tax. Mayor is happy to do so, as long as the cuts don't affect the residents. Making sure that we put ourselves in a position that we can continue to provide the good service to Naperville over you know, the long term is part of the reason why we have really talked about some of the things we've talked about in the last um, several months and really focused on putting in a sustainable financial model for the long term. I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. The next budget workshop will be held on November 9th and will review the city's electric fund and special funds.